everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video in my Shop My Stash project pan. So excited to be giving you this update today. I will say, uh, I guess to just kind of start off this video, if you hear like a bunch of weird noises in the background, it's because literally a house like right through our backyard is being taken down or, or part of it's being taken down. I think they're adding on an addition. So they are taking down like the whole back of the house. And it is a little noisy right now, but this is the time that I had to film, so we kind of had to squeeze it in. So hopefully it's not too annoying as you watch this video, uh, but I just wanted to maybe clarify that before we jump in. Also, we are kind of back to my regularly scheduled makeup project panning content. I had a couple videos this month that were a little different than normal. I did a video talking about my perfume collection and like I ranked all of my perfumes. I got really into perfume like starting in 2020 and I've just been loving it ever since. So I wanted to film that video because it's something that I'm really interested in right now. So if you haven't watched that, go check it out. And then I also filmed an update to like what's in my work bag. I have one of those videos up on my channel, but it's from like a while ago and I'm back to work three days a week. I have a new work bag, new. I bought it in 2020 right before we were all sent home, but still new in my mind. And so I did a little like refresh of what's in my work bag. Also gave you a review of that backpack. So if you haven't checked that one out yet either, please do so. I really appreciate all the support you give all the videos on my channel. So I just wanted to call those out. And without further ado, let's real quick talk about this project. Shop My Stash is really just about pulling out some specific products from your whole makeup collection and then spending a little bit of time working on those particular products. For this Shop My Stash project pan, I consider it a project pan because I have a usage goal. So before something can roll out of my Shop My Stash makeup basket, I have to use it at least five times. And if I don't use it that, those five times, it'll roll over to the next month. So last month, I believe I had three products that rolled over. I have hit five on all three of those, but I do have one product that I only have two uses on, so it's gonna stick around until next month. But how I like to do these videos is show you all the products that I worked on this past month, then I'll put them back in my collection, we'll go through and pick some new ones, and then we'll talk about those real quick, and then I will go ahead and start using them throughout the month. Let's jump into it. The three products that kind of stuck around from the month before are sitting in front of me right here, so we'll talk through them first. First one is this Kaja Moon Crystal. It's like an eye pigment. I used this five times, so I finally hit the gold number of uses on this one. It's a really pretty, like, light purple sparkly eye pigment. I just, I have a lot of other eyeshadows that I'm working on in my eyeshadow project pan, and I just didn't dedicate a ton of time to using it. I am wearing it today, and when I do use it, I really like how it looks. I just don't think to grab for it maybe as much as I should or could, but it's really pretty and like if you like a purple like eyeshadow look, it's really nice to lay this down as a base. My next shadow is my Artist Couture Nebula shadow. I used this seven times, so like I said, I didn't hit the goal on it last month, but then I obviously went over the goal this month. This is a beautiful like topper, such a pretty sparkle, again, wearing it today, and I absolutely love this. I talked about, I think, when I rolled it in, it's sometimes hard to get, like, the actual eyeshadow out of this because it's so tightly packed, but I feel like the more and more I use it, the easier it is to get out of there, so very happy that I've had it in and used it seven times and just confirms my love for this. I'm so happy this is in my collection. I think it's so beautiful and so much fun to play with. And then the last product that was in for the last two months is Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I used this five times. The reason being I didn't use this a ton is because I'm working on a bronzer in my regular project pan and wanting to make some really good progress on that, so I just didn't devote a ton of time to this. I like this bronzer. I feel like it's not as dark as like a bronzer that I normally use, which is actually probably a good thing. I might <laughs> feel like sometimes a little heavy handed on the bronzer, so this actually helps me mellow it out a little bit. Love the scent of this. The only thing that I haven't been liking is there's just so much kick up. I feel like it's way too powdery. But other than that, I do really like it and I'm glad it's in my collection. It is a relatively new product to my collection, so I'm glad that I had it in this project to see like how I felt about it. Next is my Avon eyeliner pencil. I used this 14 times. This is just a staple in this project. I just wanna finish this and so I just always have it in my shop, my stash, so it's always close by and I can pull from it. So nothing really much to say about that. I also had in my e.l.f. poreless primer. I really haven't spent a ton of time working on this over 
the time that I've had it, there's a little bit of a dent going on. I use this six times. I do really like how this makes my face look. I feel like it's really smoothing. Upon first application, I just don't notice like a huge difference like with once I have the rest of my makeup on of like when I'm wearing this and when I'm not wearing this. So I don't know, I feel like I need to keep playing with this. I feel kind of similar to this with like a lot of primers that like I like them, but I don't like love them and or need them in my collection almost. So I don't know. I feel like I just need to keep playing and seeing like how this can really work for me. I did use it a lot paired with this pretty fresh hyaluronic tinted moisturizer as a hope for this not to get like super greasy. I don't know how well it worked to do that really because this is more about like filling the pores, but that was my attempt. I think I probably have to try some other ways. Speaking of, I used this product 11 times this month. So I used it on its own a few times and then I also used it several times mixed in with the foundation that's in my project pan because that one's getting a little too dark for me right now. And so this actually melded out in like a couple ways. One, it like brought the shade to a better match for me and it also kept it from being like super, that product's not cakey. So that's not a good way to describe it, but it, for lack of a better term, like it kept it from being super cakey because this is a tinted moisturizer and that's a foundation. So it kind of just like lightened it on my face and I really liked the combo. I like kind of doing concoctions with foundations. I tend to find myself mixing them a lot for both like the actual texture and then also shade matching. So that's how I use this a lot of the times. And then I also used it a few times on its own. And honestly, like I really liked mixing it a little bit more than just wearing it on its own, but I think I probably, again, same concept as the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I just feel like I need to use this more. This was all, this is also newer to my collection, and this was really the most I've ever used it, so I think I could probably devote a little bit more time to that and form a better opinion. Something that I didn't hit my five uses on, and so this will stick around until next month, is this Tarte Tardis Pro Glow Liquid Highlighter. Honestly, I kind of forgot that it was in this project, it was in my makeup bag, but I wasn't looking for it or thinking about it, and I honestly skipped it over, so I only used it two times. What I ended up doing was mixing it in with my foundation, and I really like wearing it that way. I don't think I would just wear it on the cheek by itself. I think I would either mix it in with my foundation or like mix it in with the lotion or just like put on my body as a body highlight. This definitely isn't like a favorite product in my collection, obviously, because I, I've moved it into this project and still kind of forgot about it. But I do have some ways that I enjoy using it. So I'm going to keep it in. It could be a declutter item at some point, but I have not made up my mind about that yet. The next two products I used a ton. So the first is this NARS blush. I used this 18 times, and then I also rolled in a NARS highlight, and I used this 17 times. I really liked having these both in the project because I feel like they play really well together. So this blush has like a gold reflect in it, and this highlight, although it looks white in the pan, like when you put it on your skin, actually has like a gold, almost kind of leans greenish a little bit, but not really in a weird way. Like I like how it looks still. And so I feel like they worked like really well together on the cheeks. So very happy to have them both in. And one of my goals was to expand the pan on this, which I definitely did. And I'm definitely making some more visible progress in the pan on this. Like obviously nowhere near hitting pan on this product, but definitely starting to see some progress here, which is exciting. Next product is my NYX eye pencil. I rolled this in so I wasn't always constantly just using my Avon eyeliner and I really like this. This is like a bronzy liner. I used it five times. I feel like it really helps my eyes pop. My eye, I'm sure you all have heard me say this before. My eye color is not green, but it has like hints of green almost, like when the sun hits it or if I'm wearing green or whatever. And anytime I wear like a bronzy shadow or something more red or pink, it makes like my eyes look more green. And so I love putting this in the waterline for that reason. And it was just nice to not have something as harsh as a black liner there. I also used my Charlotte Tilbury setting spray five times. I have a setting spray in my regular project pan and so I spent the majority of the month focusing on that. This is another product in my collection that I obviously have not spent a ton of time using, like it's only down to right here. And so I don't have a totally 
formalized opinion on it. I do really like that it sets down my makeup and I feel like it holds it in place pretty well, but I feel like I also need to test it a little bit more to be able to say like, yes, this is like the one for me when talking about like long wear setting sprays, or maybe it's just like, hey, this one's really good, but maybe not the best that I've ever tried. So need a little bit more time there, but I do really enjoy this product. And I'm happy that it was in this project because it forced me to use it after having it for a while and kind of using other ones because they were in my project pan instead of grabbing for this. The next two products are lip products. So this Becca Gloss I used 10 times and then I used this Oma lipstick in Coretta five times. So I'm also working on a lipstick in my project pan. And so I ended up wearing the two of these paired together a lot. And I really liked how they paired together. So I was really happy with that. And then if I just was just wearing this lipstick or them mixed together or the other one, I topped them a lot with this Becca gloss. And I used this one 10 times this month. This is a pretty pigmented pink gloss. And so it's definitely probably not something I'd want to wear too much further into the fall on its own. So just something to keep in mind, but I did enjoy it while it was in my project pan this past month. Okay, so that is it. I'm going to put everything back in my collection except for this Tarte highlight because it's going to stick around until I hit five uses. And then like I said, my Avon eyeliner always stays in this project. And then we'll pick out some new products to work on. So thinking about foundation, uh, like I said, I've been mixing my foundation a lot. And so I think I'm actually going to pull in the Smashbox Studio Skin Full Coverage foundation. I don't know if I'll mix it or just wear it on its own, but I honestly have not used this in a while. And so I think it's time to pull it back in. A little goes a long way with this one. So I'm excited to try it out again. I think I'm gonna skip pulling in a primer this month, but I do think I'm gonna bring in my Kosas Cloud Set Powder. I have a powder in my project pan, but we are getting close to finishing it up. So I think this will be good to work on as well. And then I'm also gonna skip bronzer just because I am working on that one in my project pan and I feel like I just need a month to keep focusing on it. I would love to get it done by the end of the year, so I think I'm probably gonna have to focus on it a lot over the next three months or so. I do wanna pull in a new highlight to work on. And so I actually think I'm gonna go with my Becca highlight. I feel like I've probably used this quite a few times in this project, but it's a good one, so I think I'm gonna work on that. And then I definitely need to pull in a blush. I have a couple other blushes in a palette, but I feel like I haven't used the Ciate London blush in a minute, and the shade might be really nice for fall, so let's pick out this one. And this is in the shade Marbled Light, or it's a Marbled Light blush, and it's in the shade Dusk. Okay. I do wanna pick out a new single shadow to work on. I always like to focus on at least one single shadow in my Shop My Stash project pan, so I'm not always just wearing the shadows that are in my pan, those eyeshadows project pan, and so my singles don't get neglected as they tend to. And so I'm actually thinking either this NARS one or my Urban Decay, but I think I might be leaning towards this NARS one. I haven't worn this in a really long time. This is in the shade Dion. It's like a really interesting, like pewter silver shade, has a great sparkle to it. So I think this is the one that I am going to bring in for this month. This drawer has like liners and lip colors and all sorts of things. And off the bat, like I see two things that I absolutely wanna bring in. So for fall, I think this purple liner will be really fun to work with. And then also, and I worked on this in this project earlier this year and I absolutely loved it. This Rare Beauty Matte Lip Cream. Oh my gosh, love it, love this shade. Perfect for fall. Actually, I'm so excited that I, that was on top there because I'm really excited to roll that in. So now that I have the Rare Beauty, I'm not sure I wanna pull in another lipstick, although maybe I'll pick something darker to work on. Let's see what we have. This could be fun. This is in the shade Divine Wine. Classic like Maybelline lipstick. Let's do it. Why not? It's the fall time. When else are we gonna do it? And then I also wanna grab a lip gloss cause I just like to have one. And I feel like I haven't worked on this Carly Bible one in a little bit. So I'm gonna pull that one in as well. And I think that's it. So I'm gonna jump back on camera and we'll talk through everything. I am back. 
to quickly talk through the products that I'm going to be focused on this month. I already talked about these two, so I'm not gonna say anything more there. And then I picked out my Smashbox Studio Skin Full Coverage Foundation. I feel like this is a really good foundation for the winter time. In the summer, it's a little too heavy on the skin, and so it might be nice to mix a little bit with the foundation that I have already been mixing with. It might also be nice to wear on its own. I mentioned when I picked this out that a little goes a long way, so I am excited to start wearing it. I honestly haven't worn it in a really long time, so excited to have it back in the rotation and wear it at least five times and see if I still like it as much as I did when I first picked it up. I also grabbed my Kosas Cloud Set Powder. I've worn this a few times. I really like how this looks on my skin. Like I said, I have a powder in my project pan, but that is getting very close to being done. So it'll be good to have a powder in my shop, my stash that I can pull from whenever I want to. So I'm excited to be using this again as well. For highlight and blush, I just picked one of each. So I picked my Becca highlight in the shade Champagne Pop. Love this one, as you can tell by the giant pan in it and just happy to be using it again. And then I also picked out my Ciate London blush in the shade Dusk. I feel like this could be a really pretty fall shade for me. So super excited to use this and to get some additional progress on it. I have used this quite a few times, but it looks like I've never used it. So it'll be good to work on that for a little. For eyes, I picked out two things. The first is this Makeup Forever eyeliner in the shade Ivy. It's this really pretty like plummy purple shade. I really like this because it's still dark but not like your typical black shade. So I really am excited to pair this. The two of these will probably be worn a lot, uh, but I'm, I'm excited to have this one in this rotation. And then I also picked out this NARS eyeshadow in the shade Dion. I actually bought this originally based off a review I think Jaclyn Hill did on YouTube like years and years ago. And I, I could never get it to look like how she got it to look like on her eyes, but I still really like it. It's, it looks like very silver in the pan, but comes up almost as like a pewter on the eye. And it's really pretty. And if you use it with a wet brush or your finger, you can get it to look really like metallic-y. And so I'm excited to try this out. I think it'll work well also with the eyeshadows that are in my eyeshadow project pan. And then the last three products are lip products. I just wanted to bring in a lip gloss. I haven't used this Carly Bible lip gloss in a minute. This is in the shade Twilight. It's a sparkly one. I absolutely love it. Super fun to play around with. And then I also picked out two lip colors that I think will be perfect for fall. The first is my Rare Beauty Matte Lip Cream in the shade Brave. I love this one, such a pretty shade. And I really like the formula of the matte lip creams because they're like very light on your lips. So like a shade like this isn't too much and I could absolutely wear it like on an everyday basis. So love the lip creams for that and I definitely wanna get more of those. And then I also picked out this Maybelline lipstick in the shade Divine Wine, which is like this like dark, brownie red, which I'm super excited to bring back into the rotation. I have not worn, I feel like a dark lip shade or even like a real red in a while. So this will be fun to work with. And that is it. That is all that I'm working with this month. So I hope you enjoyed this update. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will catch you very soon for updates in both my Rolling Style 5 Pan Project Pan and my Pan Those Eyeshadows Project Pan. So I will talk to you then. Have a great one. Bye.